I'm going to pop in spot. What, for both of them? Yeah. Um, I don't know, two pounds for both? Yeah, going in, yeah. sold. First side of the day. Hey, that's good going. Two pounds. Thank pound. you very much. Lovely, cheers. How much is your clock? 50p. Yeah, go on in. Take 50 for us. <laughs> Cheers, lovely. Lovely, thank you. Hi, my name is James Galex, and if you'll find me for the first time, I am a bit of a nerd and I also do some reselling on eBay. Uh, today is what I, I picked up from the Sunday car boot. I only did two in the morning, I normally go to one in the afternoon as well, but due to prior commitments, I couldn't go to that one. And from what I've heard, it was an absolute corker. Uh, I think there was a lot of GameCube games and a lot of PS1 games that were picked up for a very, very good price. So gutted I missed that, but you can't be in every single car boot at the same time unfortunately but it's typical the one time I don't go is that there was a lot of good stuff there so we'll start with the stuff that I know you guys have seen which is Bob the Builder and Spud um, as of yet both untested but they're, they're fairly well looked after and clean so I don't see why there'd be too much damage going on inside there might be a bit of a battery leak but can easily be cleaned. So they were two pound each. Picked up a Question of Sport uh, completely sealed box game from 1992. That was two pound, uh, so no research on it whatsoever, but it, it should be a fairly straightforward sale, I would have thought, because yeah, it's got Ryan Giggs on it and he's a bit of a legend. So don't really care about the others. It's just Ryan Giggs. Picked up a load of, um, well, a load of these. These are two pound each. I've just broken one of them. It's just, everything's taped together. So it's like a, an animal rescue sensor, but in the shape of an igloo. This was two pound. I should be able to get some good shots of that. Uh, we need to do some research and find exactly how much I can get for it. An early learning sensor bus. Uh, again, two pound. This has got loads of animals with it. If you guys can see that. 
probably not. But it's like little pink rabbits and God knows what else. This was two pound. It doesn't actually have chocolate in it. It's actually got, I think it came in, um, in cereals like a long, long time ago when you could get toys in cereals. But it's got a few of the figures in. It's got R2D2, for example. Uh, yeah, Kellogg's. So I don't quite know whether this is going to be a complete dud or not, but for sake of two pound, it, it was worth a shot. And then because I am a pretty little princess, I got this playset as well. Um, it just looks good, to be honest, as far as playsets go. Um, but it's 2006, that's why I picked it up. It's Mattel and it's 2006. So I would imagine it must have some value to it. And it, uh, there are some cats in the little box. So again, two pound. Then my favorite one out of these is actually a Beauty and the Beast one. Now there's a lady looking at this and she put it back and it was only two pound, but within this we have a table, a chair, the beauty, a chair, the teapot, chip, which is absolutely tiny, and then I forget who he is, that's the dog thing, that's like a, a footstool. The candle dude, liver, 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 no, I'm probably getting it completely wrong. Uh, the clock and some sort of a display piece. I never really liked Beauty and the Beast, but for two pound, I'm very, very happy. So I've got to do some research into this. I don't know of the date. I don't think it has anything on it. It just says 9G, which is really helpful. So yeah, as I said, that was two pound. So that should be, that should, there's got to be money made in that, I would have thought. Picked up a few games, which I was gonna take the CEX because it's not really worth selling individually because everyone does these sorts of games. But I'm gonna bundle up maybe six um, and do like a mega bundle. So where the retail saved would be maybe five ten pounds but it's, it makes life a lot easier for me trying to shift it or we'll test it out anyway but we've got super mario galaxy 2 i paid two pound for that donkey kong returns paid two pound for that i believe going rate at the moment is around ten pound each i think the the cash is six pound no cash is four pound in cex the voucher is six these are going to cex which is more combat versus dc universe and GTA 5, I think they're only four pounds each. But again, I need to build up my, my credit. Chances are with that bundle, I'm, I was gonna take Wii Sports Resort to CEX, but I've now changed my mind. I think I'm gonna put that in with the bundle as well, and possibly that Mario Kart, um, which that bumps up to like almost 40, no more than that. No, about 40 pounds worth of value in that bundle alone, so I want to put one more in it to make it worth 50 quid and then just do it as 50 pound posted which should be good then i say then like there's a, a chronological order to what i bought there's not i'm just putting bits out and just going through it we've got loads of vhs tapes a load of blanks studio grade e180s there's quite a lot there's that one's obviously sealed. We've got an opened one, which has not been used. That's E180 as well. Then another E180 used, well, opened but unused. Another one, an E60 sealed. 180 sealed. 180 sealed. That's a studio grade. There's actually quite a few of those. They should make a quite a decent bundle. Studio grade, once again. Uh, E180 sealed. E180 sealed. 
an opened do 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 I don't know what it is but it's one of those E180 sealed E180 sealed E90 sealed and a five pack of E180 so paid five pound for the lot I was just looking at the five pack asked how much he had in it and he said I think a fiver for the lot and I was thinking oh you know what I've never bought VHS tapes before but I thought for the sake of a fiver it's got to be worth it especially with the studio grade ones uh, they do look like they do look nice because it's got the um, the old lion in on the front as well so it's worth a shot but we'll see we'll see what we can do so that's that done ah oh, what else we've got some skylanders um the guy wanted 20 pence a piece no they originally said 50 pence and then he said no actually 20 pence a piece so i started looking through trying to get a rough idea as to numbers as to what was there and just asked would you do a fiver for the lot and his son has never nodded his head so fast ever uh, yeah he was he was bang on it he wanted to get rid of them but there's nothing major and there's a few imaginators which she's not worth a great deal the penguin guy he's not worth a great deal there's there's loads to go through basically but for five pound it's all going to be taken to cex because it's not quite two to uh, two kilograms but i find i've got to sit on skylanders for quite a while which i just don't want to do and as i said before i need my cex vouchers so that's going to cex uh what else did we get I may have ever paid for this but I saw it and I've not seen one out in a while before so I had to pick it up it's a blue Xbox now I paid 20 quid it came with a controller the controller needs a little bit of TLC uh, it's got the original uh, PowerPoint PowerPoint power pack which obviously is that one there sorry that one there there's there's no HDMI uh, which is a bit of a pain i'll show you the uh, the controller and you'll, you'll see what i mean this is the controller uh, as you can see there it's it needs a bit of love it's, it's bloody dirty i'll give you that it is absolutely filthy but pay 20 pound it was more of a impulse buy i think because oh, I've not got I don't actually think I have an HDMI cable I've got one that's plugged into my computer that's it I don't really want to have to take that out because it's an absolute pain in the backside trying to thread it back through the back of the table of the desk so I might I need to test it I'm either going to put it on as untested or I will test it and do it as spares and repairs but £20 is worth a shot then possibly my favorite buy simply because i saw the box i saw the writing on the box it said ps1 and i'd already gone through and looked at these toys which and the box was like two foot to the left i didn't even see the box and yeah i saw the ps1 and i, I saw the ps1 slim and i saw that it had a charging it had um, the proper power cable which is an absolute pain to come across so i asked how much he wanted for it he said four pound and that's with all the games now i've not actually seen the games I've cut open the box, but I've not actually looked through the games to see exactly what is in there. I, I think there's maybe four or five games, and there's a, a PS1 Slim with the power, but there's no controllers. There's no controllers, that's why it was only £4 apparently. There's a load of uh, toys as well, which I've just sort of bought together. Um, I think I picked out five toys and then the PS1 bits as well, so I paid £9 for the lot. So. just open it up right 
they're all mismashed and all over the place. Oh, I forgot about that. Before that, there was someone selling Pokemon cards, so 20 pence each. I only picked up one. I picked up two packs of sleeves for a pound each. And then the one card I did pick up was a Zapdos. 20 pence. Um, I know one of the, the other girls was going really, like, really going through the cards. So she may have got some good bits. I don't know. So, right. We have PS1 Slim uh, with, is that a third party memory card? It is a third party memory card. It's not official. But I now have, I have the power cable, which is what I wanted. So the toys. I'm just keeping you guys in suspense in regards to the games. I've got He-Man, Pound. Donatello, Pound. Really big Raphael, which is supposed to talk and speak. Pound. This guy, Pound. This guy, Pound. Right, games. So, we have... Who wants to be a millionaire? There's more than four games in here. We have... Rayman. My alarm's going off. Back in a minute. Yeah, it wasn't my alarm. It sounded my, like my van alarm, so obviously you've got to go and check it straight away. Absolutely fine. Right, so oh, back into the games. Where was we? So Rayman. Superbike 2000. Driver. I'm not even checking. No drivers in. Superbike I didn't check. So let's go back. Yep, it's in there. The manual is actually in really good condition as well. Oh, Tomb Raider, the last revelation. Four pound, man. This, this is why I go to car boots. There's... Tekken. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh man, oh. Ah! dude, you know what? There's finger marks on it. I'm, I'm happy. Oh man, this, this is why I go to car boots. It's not about, it's, it, it's about finding it at a rock bottom price. That is what it's about. It's about the buzz, man. Um, F1, should we just stop now? Um, F1 Championship, bothered. Dukes of Hazard, Ubisoft exclusive. Yes, in there. Oh man, look at that. There's a little nick, little, little nick just there. Apart from that, it is beautiful. This is what it's about. I love it. This is such a buzz. International Superstar Soccer Pro. I'm fairly sure I've got that one. Carly McRae Rally 2.0 on Platinum. That's in there as well. Toka Touring Cars. Um, Toka 2, sorry. Yeah, that's another one. All the rest are rubbish, to be fair. Uh, FIFA 2002. God, Thierry Henry, what a player he was, man. Motocross, Mania. Oh, no, that's not the one that I used to play, is it? Oh, dear God. Is this the one that was on PC? I'm fairly sure. God, we're going back to... 99, 2000, I think. I'm trying to think of what house we was in. I think it was 99, 2000, and I used to play it on the old computer with the joystick, like the old uh, desktop. I'm getting this out and playing it later. Um, and then Smackdown 2. So I, I think that is it. This is the most that I've bought at a car boot in, in a long time. Um, I don't actually know how much I've spent. I dread to think. Yeah, I spent way, way, way too much. But no, that, that was good fun. Um, 
thoroughly enjoyed today. It was wicked. I just wish I could have got to the afternoon car boot. That's local to me. So, yeah, I, it's not ideal, but yeah, I had fun. That was that was wicked. There's, I think there's there is money in the VHSs because the the tapes, the mini tapes, and um, they tend to be slow and steady. So, yeah, they they could be good. I'm. I'm still buzzing about the PS1 stuff, to be honest. It's it's going to be a pain to go through it all, but no, it should be good. And in the play sets, I still think that Beauty and the Beast play set is going to be worth a few quid. So I've now got to go through and sort out my PS1 stuff. Uh, I've got to decide what's going to happen with these guys. I think they are going to go into that big bundle and um, we'll do something that way. I want to put one more game in there um, and that should then... We'll bump it up to, to £50. But it's sell, that's the thing. It's a bit of a high price for a few games. We'll see what it's like. But yeah, um, quite a few stuff to take to CEX. So uh, yeah, I, I I'll let you guys know how much I get um, if I do go there before I upload this video because obviously I need to edit it and, and stuff. But yeah, we'll see what's going on. So that's it for me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.